Hey, what's up guys? Joel here, State 48 Exotics. Missed last week. I do that sometimes. I suck. But this week, I'm gonna go ahead and change some pace here and we're gonna interrupt the normal snake updates for some snake hacks, because that'll be fun. Um, but no, I just wanted to kind of show some of the things that I use to uh, kind of make breeding these animals, raising these animals, caring for these animals, being around these animals just a little more pleasant. So, without further ado, let's roll on over past this intro. Can't wait. Alright guys and gals, here we go. This is my snake hack number one. Beep. Uh, this is my snake bathtub. Uh, works pretty dang good for ball pythons. I mean, obviously if you have something larger, it might not be the best method. But as you can see here, we have Ricky hanging out in here, doing his thing. He kind of sort of had a bad shed, but seemingly all under control now. So, couldn't be more happy about that, but this thing's pretty ideal. Uh, a pretty secure lid, you know, nothing too crazy. I mean, I'm sure I could get a better clip-in type situation, but that seems to be working for me pretty good right now. Um, so yeah, that's something I think uh, everybody should invest in or use your bathtub, something, I don't know, whatever you can put the snakes in to keep them happy when they need a bath or when they have a tough shed or whatever. Some snakes really like water, some don't. I don't know, your call. But that's something I definitely use. And then we're panning on over here and we're gonna work on this little bucket of goodies here. So for starters, first and foremost, pretty obvious, we have the uh, sprayer. This thing, absolute time saver, forearm pump saver, hand squeezy saver, whatever you wanna call it. It is incredible. Super cheap, Home Depot, um, put Lowe's, Ace, that's where I got this one. Um, fill it up with water, pump her down. Let's see, demonstration, pump her down, pump her down. There you go. And then uh, mist away at your pleasure to your enclosures. Snakes like it humid. All right, now in this here bucket is everything I've ever wanted. No, but seriously, this bucket contains a lot of little features and kits that I need. Uh, a scale, pretty self-explanatory, it weighs things. So get yourself a scale. You wanna know weights, you wanna know how much weight an animal's putting on. You know, I do monthly weigh-ins, just kind of see what's going on. Feeding habits, if uh, I'm overfeeding, underfeeding, blah, blah, blah. Um, so definitely need one of those. And diving on in. Okay, here's for starters. It's a little uh, little mite spray, reptile spray. This actually worked pretty good for me. Um, I use this in a combination of a couple other things, but this thing seemingly, seemingly did well for me. Got rid of the mites. I don't want to give it all the credit. I think there was other measures that were taken. Uh, a brush. Cleaning those tubs. Gotta clean those tubs, right? Pretty smart. Definitely self-explanatory. What can you do? There's Snickle Fritz down there hanging out. She's our leopard gecko. Okay, uh, pooper scooper. Don't really use that much for the ball pythons, but Brutus here, he likes that thing. I don't actually think he cares about it at all, but I like it. Saves me some time. Okay, Provenamite. This is everybody knows what this is. Uh, take a little couple squirts. Whoosh, whoosh, put it in the cage. Let it dry out. Put the snake in. Awesome. Preventative care measure. Also kills mites on contact, I believe, after they're there. So that's always good. Now here's something kind of weird. Did a lot of research on this, but olive oil. And you might be wondering, why olive oil? Well, actually, sprouts, olive oil, especially sprouts olive oil. No, I'm kidding. Any olive oil, if you use this and you apply it to the snake's skin, if they have mites, the olive oil helps remove the mites, which is very interesting to me and very convenient because I have a ton of olive oil and it's all about organic, right? Look how healthy and happy this snake will be after a nice bath in oil. But no, seriously, when I did get my retic, she had a bit of a mite issue, issue, 
And this, I think, helped out a lot in itself. I mean, I, I think that this might have been one of the main things that helped. Removes the mites, removes potentially eggs on the snake, and, not to mention, it's a great bonding experience between you and the snake. And I'll probably do a video on how to apply this a little later. I know Gavin from Balls to You has this, has a video like this on his YouTube page. Um, so, pretty cool. Pretty dang cool little trick, though. And inexpensive household item. Helps you out quite a bit, right? Okay, so, keeping on going here. Now, the bucket. The bucket. Yay, the bucket. Um, so, this is your standard, just, uh, this is Lowe's, multi-brand around here. Not very clean. What can you do? Um, I, as any of you that have been following along, use frozen thawed rats. In order to thaw my rats, I put it in a bucket full of warm water. Well, the problem is, is then the rats are in this water. So, what I did was, I went ahead and, uh, I don't know. Let's see here. Hold on. Drill holes. Drill holes in the bucket. Okay, cool, right? So then, I have the double bucket situation here. Rats are done. Pull the bucket out. Well, if you can. You gotta be smarter than the bucket. It is challenging. Drain out the water, right? So all the water drained out. Now you just have rats left in the bucket. Quick and easy. Simple. Simple clean. Then I come over here, and I have these towels laid out. Usually with one of these fancy huh, heat pads underneath it. And the towels are warm, and then the rats lay out on the towels. That works out pretty well. Additionally, you gotta have your bucket for your repti chip. Run a little low, but that's okay. My little repti chip holder after um, I prep it and get everything ready to go. So that's uh that's sort of kind of my big oh wait a second can't forget this cups little uh water cups for the bins what is it? what are the exact cups here 16 ounce cups plastic cups holy cow now that is a lifesaver go ahead and use that in each one of these a little dark in here but this is essentially just one of those cups. Easy. Don't have to worry about dirty water. You don't have to put water in there. Clean, efficient. That's what we're all going for, right? Clean and efficiency. So, but yeah, guys, I mean, I'm going to say guys and gals. Guys and gals. That's sort of it right now. Uh, camera's sort of dying. This video is a little sporadic, but we'll end her off on a little close-up here of Ricky, because he is just looking awesome. Um... But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, I'm just going to keep going down the line here on updates, but I kind of want to do this one here in the middle because I think this might help some people out, actually, instead of just looking at snakes and listening to me talk about them. So maybe you guys picked up on some ideas. Maybe you guys have some snake hacks of your own and you'd like to share with me. So at any rate, drop me a line, let me know, and that'll do it for today. Everybody have a great day. See ya.